Here's a quick clip to show the installation of uh, our AIS receiver. So uh, I bought from Quark Elec um, a splitter for our VHF antenna and um, this uh, AO27 a AIS receiver with GPS and CTORC converter. So um, looking inside the electric box, I've connected up um, fairly roughly at the moment, but this is the splitter. So it's powered and the um, input from the VHF aerial is in one end and I've got an output from the VHF into my uh, radio and then another output into the QK uh, AO27. Um, this rather nifty bit of kit is uh, receiving the AIS signals and then sending it out via its own little uh, Wi-Fi network and is connected to an old um, GPS antenna that I had from uh, a vehicle sat-nav actually and that seems to be quite happily serving up AIS positions uh, via Wi-Fi. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, I also wanted to solve another problem which was that um, the DSC radio um, doesn't have uh, a GPS input and so doesn't know where it is. So what I've been able to do with this is to connect the uh, NMEA in of the VHF radio uh, to the uh, AO27 which is uh, outputting the GPS position on NMEA which the radio appears to be picking up although uh, I'm not 100% convinced of this yet. So initial setup seems to be quite good. I've now just got to work out how to fit that lot neatly into the uh, electrics uh, bay. Connecting the AO27 to a device is really simple. On my iPad here I just select the uh, wireless network for that device and connect to it with its simple password and then I'm using Navionics and Navionics straight away knew uh, to display the uh, AIS data and I can see various targets here. Portsmouth Harbour is uh, pretty thick with AIS targets and I can see uh, the different di different ships underway and I can see their track which means that when I'm out sailing I'll be able to um, make sure that I'm not on a collision course with, with these. So I'm quite happy with this, uh, this solution which was quite a, a low cost so a solution to having uh, an AIS receiver. I decided not to get a, a transponder that was considerably more expensive uh, I don't need to have uh, any extra bits of hardware on view. I can connect wirelessly to the uh, to the device using my iPad or my iPhone and receive uh, AIS information there. And of course, that means that uh, in limited visibility, I'll be able to clearly see uh, the big ships, what their track is, and uh, check that I'm not on a collision course with them. And as well as that, I will have uh, provided my VHF radio with its uh, GPS input so that uh, it knows where I am. Should I need to send a distress signal, uh, it will include my uh, GPS location. So all I've got to do now is get that lot tidily uh, stashed away inside the electrics uh, area. I think what I might use is some uh, large pieces of Velcro so that uh, I can attach it to uh, up the top of the uh, compartment without having to use any screws.